coming through. One, two, one, two. One, two. Okay, great. Thank you. Um, great to see so many folks here. Uh, this, um, this is what we call a sponsor keynote, so I can I'm supposedly talking about Microsoft, but it's also a little bit of a personal journey as well, because it's actually pretty clo close to three years to the day since, um, since I was working at Kinfolk. Let me see if this is this. Okay, I will use the keyboard. Um, <laughs> uh, so I was, I was working at Kinfolk uh, along with a lot of the organizers here of Rejects, and we were in discussions to be acquired by Microsoft. And Kinfolk was, a, as you may know, cloud native, open source uh, company. And for a lot of our team, the thought of becoming part of the big behemoth in Redmond uh, with all the history of Microsoft, well, let, let's just say people had questions. Um, but we really, you know, through the process, we talked a lot with the team at, um, at Microsoft and the part of the group that we're now in, folks like Sarah Novotny, who many know as the original community organizer behind uh, uh, Kubernetes, and uh, Brendan Burns, one of the inventors of Kubernetes. And, you know, we really found that they were very open to what we could bring, and they weren't just looking to bring us in as a, as a team to kind of be absorbed into Microsoft, but we're actually looking to us as well to help shape that, the future and, the, and, and really drive um, a cultural uh, change that, um, you know, that they've been uh, already started, but that over the last few years we've really been um, pushing forwards. Um, because you know, even, even within you know, the, the walls of Redmond, which if you ever go to the campus it can feel a little bit insular, it's, it, um, you know, it's obvious that Open source is really the jet fuel that's powering you know, all of software development today, right? So look at any of the statistics, 96% of applications leveraging open source. I mean, you cannot ignore the force that is open, open source. Um, and so actually compared to, if you go back, I don't know what, 10, 15 years, like there was, you were not allowed, if you were a software engineer at Microsoft, you were not allowed to bring any open source inside the company. Um, and the cultural change has just been pretty fascinating to see on the outside, but also from the inside. And we actually have now, we have the Open Source Programs Office introduced company-wide programs to, that really make it easy for developers to use, contribute, and even start new open source projects. And we, we publish a lot of those on the, on the website. So if folks have um, kind of OSPO initiatives, um, encourage people to look at the kind of things that we've done there. Um, and it really is friction-free, and our developers all developing in open source, all working on Linux laptops. Um, you know, it's, it's a very different Microsoft from the one that I grew up with. And across the company, we've got over 60,000 engineers now working you know, in, a, in the open in GitHub. Um, what kind of things are they working on? Pretty much everything. I mean, you'd be hard pressed to find any important project in any of the major software ecosystems where Microsoft isn't very, very active. From things like Linux kernel, where we've been uh, heavy contributors over the last 10 years to data and AI. We have big Postgres team. Um, we introduced projects like Onyx, and all the way through to things like um, you know TypeScript, which Microsoft introduced and really changed a lot of um, web development. So, but we're here all about cloud native. What are, what are we uh, what are we doing there? There's a, again just across the whole ecosystem of everything in cloud native, um, and you, you probably know of. Many of these projects, things like Kubernetes and ContainerD and things like that, obviously, are just ones that Microsoft contributes to. They're much bigger, bigger things. Um, but a lot of these ones on the right that where we've actually introduced these projects, things like I was just in a call with a customer talking about Dapper this week, and they were, wow, this is fantastic. Hadn't heard of this, didn't know what it does. Um, you know, distributed application development environment makes it easy to build microservices. Um, Helm, the Helm, the Helm charts um, that you all know and love. Uh, things like that, flat car container Linux, all ca which came out of our Kinfolk team. Um, really, across the board, we're very, very uh, involved. Um, and in fact, if you look at the stats over the last five years, Microsoft's consistently been one of the top three uh, contributors to, to CNCF projects and dev stats. You know, I'm, I'm looking forward to when our total number of contributions hits a million. That's going to be <laughs> something to celebrate. Uh, we're getting close. Um, 
And of course, cloud native rejects. When we talk about community initiatives, this is you know, something we started at Kinfolk. Microsoft has you know, continued to invest in it. The fact that we're all here with free tickets um, you know, is, is thanks to the fact that my boss agrees to my budget request every year. So thank you, Jeremy. Um, and you know, it's ultimately the investments that we make in open source, the, the things we're doing, driving the community, it's about enabling us to, um, uh, to, to really both drive Microsoft forward and enable our customers to achieve, achieve more and achieve their dreams. And thank you very much for being part of our, our uh, progress and culture change as a company. And we're very excited to be here and to be part of this. Thank you.